Hello guys, my name is Luca from Audio Tribe YouTube channel and in this video I will make a cross comparison between the JBL Bar 1000 and the JBL Bar 500. The JBL flagship, the JBL Bar 1000 is an 11.1 or 7.1.4 surround sound system that includes 4 upwards fire speakers for Dolby Atmos 3D sound, has 2 rear detachable battery power speaker, 1 10 inch wireless subwoofer and costs about $1,100 while the JBL Bar 500, this one, is a 5.1 channel surround sound system with the same subwoofer and costs about $500 to $550. Unlike the JBL Bar 1000, the JBL Bar 500 supports Dolby Atmos, but the soundbar uses virtual multi-beam surround sound technology to achieve Dolby Atmos. The JBL Bar 500 don't have actual rear or upwards fire speakers to get that immersive experience like the JBL Bar 1000. In my opinion, a traditional Dolby Atmos system with speakers mounted on the ceiling gives you the best Atmos feeling. In the JBL Bar 1000 case, I recommend after calibrating the soundbar, put the Atmos and rear speakers function at the max level for a more immersive Atmos experience. They're not stopping. And there we. JBL Bar 1000 has a powerful sound, about 880 watts combined power towards the speaker. More exactly, the main unit has 440 watts, the wireless subwoofer has 300 watts, and the two rear detachable speakers 140 watts, while the JBL Bar 500 offers 590 watts combined power to all the speakers that are divided between the main unit of the soundbar that have 290 watts and 300 watts from the wireless subwoofer. So, the main units are very different, but the wireless subwoofer are similar. They have a boxy look that is made from wood and offers the same amount of power, 300 watts, that gives you a thrilling and precise bass, has the same 10 inch big speaker that is mounted on the bottom of the box, so it is protected from dust or even the sharp claws of the kitty. to the soundbar and require a single power cord, so they can be easily mounted in the room. But in my test, the JBL Bar 1000 has a more powerful base. I think this is made through software integration. JBL Bar 500 main unit soundbar is a little smaller than the JBL Bar 1000. The main soundbar units of both have a sturdy construction and are made only of plastic so they can be cleaned very easily. In the JBL Bar 1000 case, the two rear detachable battery power surround speakers blend with the main unit perfectly, offers up to 10 hours of playing time and with the included wall brackets can be mounted wherever you want. Both are very easy to set up. You have to select how you will connect the JBL Bar 1000 or 500 as you get to choose between the same connectors. 
on the back of the main unit is the interface that features 3 HDMI inputs but uh, JBL bar 1000, JBL bar 500 has only one HDMI port, one HDMI ear connector, digital optical input, one Ethernet port as well as an USB port that can be used to connect external storage and stream audio from there. Fortunately, both have a full LED display that is positioned on the right side of the front face and provides you with various information like input selection, volume and sound formats among others. On the right side of the main unit of the soundbars on top, you will find the layout of buttons with a volume control and input selection buttons that can be used for various functions depending how many times you press it. If you don't want to bother with buttons turning on and off, the JBL Bar 1000 and 500 has CC functionality that means that the unit will turn on and off automatically when it detects a signal in HDMI port and will take the volume directly from the TV. In the package you will find wall brackets in case you plan on putting it on a wall and it included the remote controller which provides all the necessary buttons in order to control all the soundbar functions. They are similar but the JBL Bar 500 lacks the real speakers level button and the button for Atmos on JBL Bar 1000 remote control now has level not only on and off. Both of the soundbars has the audio calibration function and is super simple to do it. Just press on the calibre button twice on the remote control and due to the included microphone in the main unit of the soundbar, the unit will auto calibrate the sound to give you a better sound experience. Both have the same smart function integration and you can stream music to the soundbar with Airplay, Alexa, Multiroom Music and Chromecast and they can be controlled by your favorite voice assistant, Alexa, Google or Siri. Also, both soundbars uses full voice technology that optimizes voice clarity and has JBL1 app where you can enable equalizer adjustments. As far as their performance, both soundbars will certainly amaze you with bass power, clear sound and has enough power to completely fill with sound a very big room, but of course with the up firing and rear speakers, the JBL Bar 1000 is perfect. At the end of this comparison, I will tell you that both soundbars are great. The JBL Bar 1000 costs twice as much as the JBL Bar 500 and from my point of view, it's worth the money. Both sounds very good, but it is clear that the JBL Bar 1000 is far superior to the JBL Bar 500 because of the removable speakers and the Atmos function which is truly present, unlike the case of the JBL Bar 500. Both are very easy to handle and simple to use soundbars as this plug and play design will certainly attract many of us. But which is worth buying it? The JBL Bar 1000 is amazing but not much better than the JBL Bar 9.1 that was released in 2020 and now costs about $750. If you want the best, the JBL Bar 1000 is the best. But if you want the best soundbar for the price asked, I will definitely recommend the JBL Bar 9.1 or 5.1 with detachable rear speakers, not the JBL Bar 500 or the JBL Bar 5.1 surround from 2020 because they are missing the real Atmos feeling. What are your impressions? Feel free to subscribe to Audio Tribe YouTube channel and please hit that like button. Cheers!